Hey Mike, how you doing? Coming at you from Bear Haven Vintage Toys in Tarpon Springs, Florida. Giving you the tour again. Uh, hope you have fun. This is an awesome one. Can't wait to show you. All right, Tarpon Springs. Oh. Off to Tarpon Springs. Your old stomping grounds. Thank you so, so much it, for doing this and for doing all the editing on it too. <laughs> no problem. Oh, cool. Yeah. So they had these uh, these gigantic. Um, uh, this guy. So so I have to talk a little bit about this guy going into the shots as we're kind of skimming over and reviewing, kind of doing an overview. Yeah. Um, but so he last time I was there like two years ago. Um, he was telling me all about the kind of the story and the history and everything. And apparently, he, I guess he 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 owned car dealerships, but like toys are his passion. Um, and so he was he, like decades long collector of all this stuff. And he and his son collected the stuff. And I may be getting the story slightly wrong here. So I apologize if he watches this and he's hearing. But I remember him saying like he just had all this stuff and he never knew, knew what to do with it. So they opened the shop as sort of like a passion project. And so this business is all 100%. I mean, I'm sure there's, you know, they've obviously it's got to make a profit to stay open, but, but, um, you can tell walking around that this is the guy that likes the stuff, yeah. um, which was made it really cool. And like, you know, the way he's setting up his displays and, and, you know, even kind of group stuff, it was fairly well organized, you know, it was easy to kind of find stuff, but like this, he had his USS wow. flag out there. I mean, not obviously for not for sale. But you know, I'm you know that was his. That obviously, like like the sandbar you saw and, and, and the other stuff. But um, a lot of the stuff was just in a remarkable condition. Um, you know, like that F sixteen. Um, I don't, I can't remember the Joe name for that vehicle. But Ghost Striker. Uh, Ghost Striker. That's right. Um, but you know, I mean, so much of it was in good condition, and there's so much that's boxed and packaged. Uh, you know, he had all these books and and. Uh, you know all the uh, um, the graphic novels and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I don't know what that movie down there was. It's not <laughs> the wrestler. The wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and obviously, his wife I think is in the into this stuff a lot too because Barbie. there's a huge Barbie section and Barbie collection as well. Wow. And you know there were some Care Bears, all sorts of dolls and stuff. Um, this is so. totally my kind of store. Like I I've got stuff in my collection. You know I got little tiny Care Bears because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not the biggest Care Bear fan, but it, it should be in there. It's it's part of the lore. And yeah. it, having stuff out there that's not for sale, I think is really cool too, because it kind of makes it feel like you're just at a buddy's place. Yeah, who, it's like it was open to selling stuff to you, but mm -hmm. some stuff he won't, because he's like, no, 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 that's grandma gave me that, I can't sell that. And that was the thing, it was like, it was like kind of, uh, you know, looking at someone else's collection in that regards. And there was some really cool stuff, like, um, like some of these, uh, um, these Sergeant Savage Joes and everything. I'd never actually really seen. I think that these came out when I wasn't really into toys or anything, going to 90s, Toys R Us. Yeah, yeah, and it was it was just kind of a neat line. And, you know, they had all this, you know, this what was the Star Brigade stuff, I think. Yeah. Um, Space uh, is the place. And it's just really, you know, and then mixed in, you'd find like one of these newer, <laughs> you know, it's like, what's this? Lifeline, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, they just kind of ran the gamut. It was really a, 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 a organized treasure hunt. No, like this, I think that was Whoa. the, well, yeah, like, there you go. See a, you know, a, um, uh, package up an old, old one. Torpedo. Yeah, old torpedo. 12 you know, inch stuff. The 12 inch weapons packs and all that stuff. I mean, it was just, uh, uh, you know, and some of it was, was, I would say it wasn't flea market prices. Um, but on the other hand, I don't think from what I've seen elsewhere, it was really exorbitant either. So. Um, Based on some of the flea markets we've looked at, flea markets don't always have flea market prices, yeah, right. depending on, you know, if it's a very, very rare item. But mm -hmm. I mean, these prices to me so far pretty much look like either eBay prices are a little lower, mm -hmm. plus you're not having to pay shipping. But this and is like a time warp, man. Like, mm -hmm. it's incredible. All this stuff all in the same store. Yeah, yeah. And it's there's it's so varied. I mean, he's got so much different stuff. Like some of that stuff, I'd never even know knew existed. Like they had the twelve inch Destro, and like like the you know I think I'd seen the Cobra Commander somewhere. Hall of Fame. Yeah, but um, you know they had oh, all cool. this stuff like the Space you know the Mercury Man. astronaut ones and the Apollo thirteen ones, and you know it's just like like wow, I didn't even know they made that. You know, incredible. Oh, Scar, that was a great line. The twelve inch Elite Force. Yeah, those were fantastic. I think those were BBI. They're incredible. 
You could get them at Toys R Us here. Yeah, I'd, I'd never even seen those before. You know, and they had some of the loose. Dark. I'm not sure which, yeah, which Dark. which lines those were from, but uh, um, some of them I, I recognized. But it wasn't awful, you know, like some of the stuff in the, uh, um, the you know, in the bags. Yeah, I certainly recognize that Dark. one. Yeah. yeah. Psycho, I see. He's peeking his head out there. Beachhead. The beach broken That's crotch. Perfect. Always broken yeah. crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Always. There he is. Like, I really like this guy. Mm -hmm. I know he's uh, bright and weird, but <laughs> he was one of my favorite kind of later mm -hmm. post Sunbow Joes. Yeah. He's like a breaker 50 years into the future. Mm -hmm. Like that was a, was that an alley viper? No, that's a. Uh, oh, there's a yellow snow. Pacto viper. Yeah. <laughs> Yellow, Yellow snow <laughs> <laughs> Needs a hydrogen peroxide bath, my creeper. That's a really, really great bin. Yeah, it's just and it just goes on and on. It's one of those things oh, that was pirates. frankly longer. And you know, it was it was there was a point where I'd be like, okay, I think the I think this video is long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like stuff like that, like that oh, chopper God. command. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I remember a toy very similar to that when I was a kid. Um, Whoa! A later version. Six yeah, scale like, Jeep there or a dune yeah. buggy? Yeah. You know, and they had the what is that? The is that the later version of the pit? I think that one. One, one of the headquarters. Yeah. yeah. Later uh, tank Savage. I didn't know Savage I, had vehicles. Yeah, I didn't either, and I'd never seen that that Mustang. Actually, that was one of the things where, I, if I could have got it home, I might have actually bought that. I thought that was rad. Um, but the bridge layer, that was actually one of my favorite vehicles when I was a kid. Sub Barracuda there, repaint mm -hmm. Barracuda. Destro's Razorback, that's a great tank. Lord so now, of the Rings. Wow. Yeah, I'm moving. He's just had a huge Lord of the Rings um, collection of stuff, and you know, all of it was basically in boxes. I think he had some loose bag stuff. Um, those glass goblets, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. But then the old, you know, the X Men stuff, which is coming back huge now. It's like I'm starting to see that old Toy Biz X Men stuff all I've over noticed. the place. <laughs> noticed. Yeah. I did a, a little uh, showcase of all the stuff I got, and uh, quite a few people have enjoyed that video. I was surprised. Yeah. yeah, that was a cool one. That's And it's, I think that's the stuff that it's effectively classic age now. You know, it's like about yeah. 25 years old. and. It's God. getting to the point where it's <laughs> right, yeah. Um, but they just had so much. It's one of those things I would have lingered more on each figure, but the, there was just no way to. I mean, as it was, I think I was in the store about four hours. There was a point yeah. the guy was so nice. There was a point where he's like, "Are you still looking around then?" <laughs> <laughs> Well, after living on the Isle of Man for a while, and you know, yeah. not having access to very much stuff like this, you you've built up the, uh, the toy store bank. You know, you yeah. think yeah. think you need to have a good stroll. Going into something like this is a treat for sure. Yeah, but that uh, that Silver oh, Surfer, I thought was awesome. That was another oh. one that I was like, ooh. I saw the Batman coupe there, the Bruce Wayne coupe. That is a great car from uh, Kenner. Mm -hmm. And they had lots of Batmobiles. Super there were, uh, yeah, mm -hmm, super friends. Yeah. And the Legends of Batman series was great. That was the first uh, first uh, uh, Nightfall Batman figure, I think. This is incredible. It's like walking into an actual physical eBay store, mm -hmm. like a brick yeah. and mortar eBay. Yeah. And there was all sorts of stuff that I'd never seen anywhere, of course, you know. But uh, you know, some stuff obviously, like all the the you know the X Men, the Toy Biz X Men stuff. A lot of that I'd seen before. Um, you know, like the juggernaut, but it's still so cool. And, <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I mean, you know, look at the 25 bucks for a packaged one. <laughs> that yeah, one was a peg warmer when it was new. That, the, that, that, uh, I forget what his name was. The guy with the tank body. <clears throat> Omega Red. Mm -hmm. Wow. I do remember a lot of those Generation X uh, videos, uh, the figures on the pegs. Whereabouts is Tarpon Springs? So Florida. Tarpon Springs is sort of uh, just north of, of Clearwater and like Tampa area. It's kind of okay. on the Gulf side. Actually, the fun fact about Tarpon Springs is it was one of the um, original. It's got a very Greek influence and it's one of the original um, big uh, sites for the sponge industry. 
Oh. Um, the, yeah, some some the uh, cutthroat sponge industry. Yeah, right. Well, they more or less apparently like developed the whole industry, and that they made Tarpon Springs a big part of it. And the, the Greek community there, there's you go, you you know, you walk around. There's falafel places everywhere, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but it's but it's really cool. The food's amazing. It's got the 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 historic district where where this is is really cool. There's like a retrocade like right next door. Um, you know, they have got tons of pinball machines and, and, and arcade machines. They're just really kind of cool place you can kind of walk around and, and, you know, there's good restaurants and all that sort of stuff. It's a really neat place. So uh, this is full of revelations for me. I didn't know there were Terminator vehicles either. Mm -hmm. I remember yeah, seeing I didn't... those crappy yeah. Terminator t uh, figures, but I never saw a Terminator vehicle here, I don't think. Mm -hmm. And all the, you know, they had all the Playmobil Ghostbusters uh, stuff, which I'd yeah. never actually seen in person. Um, that's it's really cool. Mm -hmm. It's expensive, but it's it's quality stuff. If if yeah. Playmobil figures are your thing, mm -hmm. I just yeah, wish yeah. they were a little bigger. Like I would be all over that eighteen Playmobil van if it was a little bigger and you could stick one eighteen scale figures in it. Yeah, yeah. But tons of Lego stuff, and they have in in many cases have even more than what I'm showing here. They had a whole bunch of like bagged Lego sets, Those... like complete Lego sets that were bagged. Those twelve-inch Marvel Studios figures were amazing. Punisher, uh -huh. Blade. They did a movie Wolverine, Army Wolverine. I remember getting those. That's uh, one of the very, very first twelve-inch figures I ever got. The Marvel uh -huh. Studios figures at Toys R Us and helped get me hooked onto the sixth scale uh -huh. Sergeant Rock. Yeah, yeah. and I like, yeah, just like the comic section. It was kind of it was a hunt. Cool. You know, you had a lot of stuff mixed in there, um, but. Um, you're going to see one of a couple of my finds here that I that I came home with. But look at that, that Call the Conquer so, number three. There's the ROM. I was really interested. I almost picked up the ROMs I found. I didn't Chris see enough. Star. Yes. I saw this and I was like, ah, you know, awesome. you had the lights going down and everything. I was like, oh, my gosh. So that made me a hunt. Oh, and sweet. Yeah, this was the big find. I didn't even know they made this because, I'm, you know, I've told you before. Never I'm heard huge. of it. Yeah, yeah I'm a <laughs> Huge Blade Runner fan, you know. You can behind me here. You can see my PKD replica and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but um, um, yeah, the the uh, I never even knew they made a two issue um, adaptation of that in comic form. But the ROMs really tempted me. I I, I was like, oh, I don't know. What is ROM? Yeah, ROM Space Knight. It was a it was an old toy. I think it was a Mattel toy back oh, in really? the seventies. Yeah, That's and. Yeah, it became canon in the Marvel Universe. They, uh, um, I, I believe he's even like fought with the Guardians of the Galaxy and stuff. I'm sure somebody in the comments could correct me if I'm wrong, but I know he's like, you know, part of Marvel now. But um, yeah, they had some cool stuff. That this Panache Place line, I was like, ooh, you know, because I, re I'd really like to get a Panache Place Voltron. Uh, just they didn't have anything that was near complete. Yeah, it's um, got to have the canopies. The chrome's yeah. got to be halfway decent. Got to have the sword. Come yeah. On. Even the chrome these days, there's pretty good paint. I could, I could kind of justify it if everything else is there. Touch but it up. yeah, um, but yeah, they had the, the you know they had a section with all these Marvel figures, and I think that's the Skeleton Warriors. I think that guy is oh, um, incredible. Yeah, like you know this Predator, and you know what is that? I think that's that alien suit thing from the Aliens line. There's aliens, yeah, aliens. Yeah. 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 Oh, if only we got a cartoon of that. Yeah. Right. You're going then, down, Mother Hubbard. <laughs> Eat this. It's your Brie Larson figure if you want it. I'll pass. <laughs> um, oh, then cool. these, of course. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't know those because that was another one that was really tempting. I remember um, those. Yeah. Yeah, Garbage now, Keeps Out Kids. That was, that was my bag when I was like in fifth grade. Predator. Oh, cool. It's a Ken doll. Yeah. <laughs> it just announced he's Ken in the Barbie movie. Yeah, yeah. Which is just genius. Love that. Um, but yeah, they had they had those. Um, those were Great tempting price. a little. Yeah, it wasn't a bad price. Oh, it was a bad, sweet. Mm -hmm, yeah, uh, those were another couple that I was like, ooh, I don't know. Um, I'm waiting for them to come out with a reaction Blade Runner line. I would buy that in probably two seconds. Mm. Uh, you know, lots of alien oh, stuff. I had that. I love mm -hmm. that set. I had it back yeah. in the day. Lights up. Yeah. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider figure even looked pretty good. Hey, do you remember what the code name was of the pilot of the uh, the Phantom on GI Joe? Pilot of the Phantom? Yeah. Oh, I what, was it? Yeah. Go
I don't remember. I think he just distorted there. I can't remember. I can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember I got either. You. <laughs> uh, sorry, it took me a second to get that one. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days, we'll find out on this channel what Jonas <laughs> Jeffrey's code name was. <laughs> Sin City. Sakama. Oh my God, this is incredible. Yeah, you know, you could just tell from the kind of stuff that was brought in you know, or that he had in there. I'm sure that some of it was brought in and sold. And like, I don't know what the chromium. I'd never even heard what that, what that yeah. was. Um, Lord of the Yeah, lo lots of it was kind of very focused, too. Like you had a lot like of the newer stuff that was in boxes and box. And you're going to see some stuff that's going to blow your mind in a minute. But um, yeah, you don't you don't ever see this like a blend of a vintage modern and in between two wow what is yeah, that because they had some of the kenner alien stuff and back there in the back you can see the uh the, what is it the menards uh aliens that, that that are out now um he had tons and tons of these you know loose pokemons and all that kind of stuff and the, you know little things like that batman you know bust or whatever that is I don't know what that's from, but it was like there was some kind of cool stuff there. It was kind of kitschy and interesting. I was looking all over for a Mac tonight, and I didn't see any. any. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But he kind of jumps at it. You can't miss Mac tonight. <laughs> Anytime well, I uh, see Mac tonight, it's like I see him from a mile away. Oh, Mac tonight. Yeah. Which is well, I had a whole bunch of like Mac tonight um, Happy Meal toys at one point. I don't know what I did with them. They were just kind of gone. Um, mm -hmm. I, they must have been in a bag that I got rid of and didn't check thoroughly enough or something. But uh I don't think I've ever seen a Mac Tonight Happy Meal toy anywhere. Yeah, just like yeah, maybe. neither neither had I. And then I found like all of them at a at a booth at the Alameda Flea Market one time, and I was like, "What? I've never even seen these." But you know, also, oh, there's a Mac Tonight. I totally missed him when I was going through the first oh. time. <laughs> Back to Tarpon Springs. <laughs> um, they can mail. Yeah, things, I think. Actually, I don't know. I shouldn't speak for them. But, you know, all the games and, you know, and, and uh, they had some that were a little more vintage than others. Obviously, I think, you know, oh, people have brought in their PS4. Yeah, there's some cool Thundercats and stuff. Galley, he is super rare, 325. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, he's gotten very, very expensive. Yeah. You know, Woman. plenty of pops. I didn't spend too much time on the pops. Oh, thanks. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I just did that uh, lunchbox unboxing, the Funko uh -huh. lunchbox, and uh, <laughs> I remember someone saying something about it. Too bad it's filled with pops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can never say that too loud because Carl loves them, and oh. I think they're cute. They're just not my thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. But, you know, that, like, C-3PO statue, and I mean, there's there's a Rock Lords in there, and I don't know if there's a Rock Lords, or was that the cool. He-Man Rock guys? Um. It was just really the Rex is pretty cool. I have to I have to give him that for the for the pops. I'm not sure if that was a bear brick or a pop. Mike was um, Yeah. Good lord. Mm -hmm. It really it's mind blowing going through this and realizing just how many unique pop culture characters exist. Yeah. You know, even in the Mario stuff. Of course, I spent a little more time here. That Batmobile Matchbox car, whatever it was, I had that when I was a kid. I. Looked for a while and thinking, re thinking of reacquiring that. Gremlins. Yeah, the gremlin stuff. You'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll, they actually had one of my I would consider holy grail toys. I just it was a little more than I'd want to spend, and it was it was one of the, that. There you go. <sighs> see the dimos right in the Whoa. basically in the center there. Yeah. Yeah, that was I had that when I was a kid, and and it's one it was one of my favorite toys ever. And I was looking at that for a long time, but I think it was something like eight hundred dollars. I was like, I mm. can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Might have been less, I can't remember, but I remember it was just enough to where I was thinking, like, out of my budget. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. We were talking now, about um, how, like, toys to us that aren't that old are now considered vintage. I'm, I'm wondering yeah. how long until the PS3 is considered a vintage game. Yeah. Just well, that right there, that Texas Instruments, the TI-99, that was our first computer we had. That was the first thing we had that could play games in our house. What's Ultraman Jack? Yeah, Ultraman's sitting there, yeah. Was it Ultraman Jack, though? Is that a different Ultraman? Yeah, he was, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the Ralphie. order of them, but he was kind of considered one of the older ones now, I think. Okay. Yeah. 
Six scale. T- Tiga and Jack and you know all these all these different uh, different Ultramen. You never hear Barbie referred to as sixth scale. Yeah, really. Even though it is. Yeah. It's compatible with sixth scale. They had just tons of. Uh, uh, tons of the, the different themed Barbies. You know, they had the, the Ace Ventura one in there and the Bewitched and, Elvis. you know, they had Elvis and, you know, they had just about everything you could think of. I mean, I could have spent an hour just in this section recording all this. Oh, this I love a... Lucy's. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Trick. There we go. Yeah. Fascinating. That, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> I, yeah, I think we just saw that one. Uh, yeah, yeah. The recently. Batgirl one I thought was oh, pretty cool. cool. That motorcycle was cool. Yeah. You know, the astronaut Barbies and Barbies almost like Funko Pops. Like the, everything has been a Barbie. Just about, yeah. I think they've they've branded her with just about everything. Wow, how big is this place? Exactly. And the thing is, Diana. it's it's good size, but it's not huge. It's just really well stocked it's they've just got an unbelievable amount of stuff this was get... kind of funny oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the... yeah i love that unicron i had that it's uh, a cool one the uh, armada unicron mm-hmm. I, I still remember being in a toys r us and mm-hmm. the guy was opening the box up in the toys r us and mm-hmm. and i'm like what do you got there and he's like it's the first ever Unicron. I'm like, are you kidding me? He's like, I'm so totally, totally putting one aside for myself. Nice. Like, uh, I'm gonna grab one too. And I still have uh, my Armada Unicron taking a chunk out of Cybertron. Yeah, that's great. Oh. That was a cool one. Then the, you know, the sail, the sand barge or the sail barge. I think uh, I'd never seen that uh, person. It was lab. just kind of fun seeing it's it. Humongous. Yeah. It really was big. It's it's for sure. I think the you know the flag of Star Wars toys. Uh, okay, just tons yeah. of stuff and some is of the stuff. I mean, Owen? stuff that I realized. Yeah, it's Owen and back behind the, Owen is behind mm-hmm. the bar. <laughs> yeah, they made Owen is part of a three pack. Um, but uh, um, and I don't know what I, I was trying to figure out what was actually in those boxes. One of them was was labeled, but probably some newer stuff might, might have been spirit of obi-wan i think the, la- like the lays of mail away spirit of obi-wan came in a white yeah. mailer box um, wow. some of the stuff i had no idea what it was but it was cool just the same like this et clock <laughs> e. i was like yeah <laughs> did they have any et jesus statues <laughs> they did not that would have been great i love these little L- i remember these little lj and LJ uh, little figurines um i think i had a couple of these when i was a kid so that logo is not copywritten or trademarked and people can just use that on any toy they want um which aew is doing they did a right? rub, they did a rubber retro wrestler style uh figure uh mm-hmm. cody rhodes and then earlier they did uh, the young bucks and they just stuck the ljm logo on it because huh. apparently you can wow interesting oh there you go what is it darmok and tanat something but like the little star trek figures that a bunch of um, and what was fun is one of the ones I was always I've always been searching for is a is a Chief O'Brien, um, and uh, well, well we'll see we'll see some little bit an Avatar figure that must have been something they had a whole Charger. bunch of these <laughs> the Charger they had a whole bunch of these um, is that autographed the Anakin yeah yeah some of them were were autographed which is cool is a does Hayden sign it I'm sorry Hayden Christensen <laughs> <laughs> it's not your full Hayden yeah. Um, but just an impressive selection, you know, they had some of the really newer stuff that was, um, still wasn't horribly priced, you know, it was a little bit more than retail in a lot of cases, but, um, they had this, that stitch, um, that star Wars stitch figure was another one that was, that was a little attempting side. Saw the classic star Wars figure cases down. Mm-hmm. Wow. We're getting into some of the transformers they had some really oh, cool boy. stuff. Some, yeah, some of the cool newer ones and. They had some of these uh, commemorative series ones, which I had no idea. And I, I looked on eBay because I was like, oh, my God, that must be way overpriced. No, it's about right. These comm- commemorative series are going for a lot of money. Yeah, they yeah. they were a little expensive when they first showed up here at Toys R Us. Oh, that's so cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, but then they oh cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I zoomed in on the price. Of that, I, was like, I saw that I was like, my Ouch. gosh, is, yeah. it, is it a real gun? <laughs> <laughs> Plated in gold. 
Yeah. Uh, oh, and Wheeled then, Warriors. Yeah, cool. Wheeled Warriors. I'd never seen that one. I mean, since it was in the stores, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, but all the tech. stuff, like the Robotech stuff, I was really entranced with. I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah. So, yeah, those um, the commemorative ones, uh, initially they started a little expensive and then they all went on clearance. So I just, mm -hmm. you know, when people see my collection and ask, why do you have two of every G1 Transformer? Like, because they, they went on clearance, man. Like, you couldn't say no, for 10 bucks or something. Yeah. It was a great idea, really. And to, you know, to have one in each, you know, one in the alt form and one in the vehicle form. Mm -hmm. That's how you know you're getting old, too tired and lazy to transform a transformer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. But, you know, even some of the loose transformers, they had a good mix. They had some that were from the classics line and some newer and some older. And I think some machine war stuff. And then That's that was, I think that the movie that might even be the, uh, the car version of the uh, movie, uh, um, evasion prime. It's incredible. Uh, this really is almost like being there and we're only halfway through this. this is incredible. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it, I mean, Mike, the thing is, that's crazy oh, is think that man. there's, I, I just kind of deleted about half that when I saw it was getting over like two hours, I was like, okay, well half <laughs> this has got to go. So I just even just del deleted the stuff that it wasn't even quite as compelling. Do a director's cut for Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Soundwave. Or yeah, is that an wave. actual real cassette player? You never know. <laughs> I can never tell there's no power much. loader yeah the power loader thing was cool that was another thing i saw that i was tempted by Whoa. Um, some of the masterpieces and those are getting expensive 250 yeah. for smoke screen i was actually kind of excited because i've got all those <laughs> i was thinking Ooh, <laughs> if i ever need to pay rent there you go yeah exactly yeah. we're in operation yeah metroplex. Um, the metroplex and the box i don't know if that was that had to have been an original right because that wasn't really i wanted really. that guy so bad yeah. in 86 so bad and uh, he was at highway market here in kitchener and like oh mom no it's you have omega i'm like i uh -huh. can't i can't argue i got prime <laughs> and i got omega i can't so i never got him and then years later when i finally did get metroplex i thought you know he i would have been disappointed with him he, he's just way too tiny with how he's built up to be a city the toy is like what is he slightly bigger than ultra magnus yeah it's not it's not as huge as it would have had you believe that's for sure i mean if anything they should have held off not done metroplex in 86 and done, did him in 87 and have him be fortress maximus you know just uh -huh. just instead of fort max do metroplex that size these Johnny Quest things, I'd never seen those. Like, those must be 90s toys. They, they looked and breathed uh, 90s toys. Captain America, man, every movie has had a toy line. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, it used to be kind of rare. Like, wow, Waterworld has a toy line and Willow has a toy line. Uh -huh. and these days, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. any Barbara Streisand movie almost has a has a toy line. Ooh, Silverhawks. You never see those just hanging in yeah. baggies like that. Yeah, I was surprised by those two. I thought, oh, wow. Um, then it goes to Iron Man, I think, in the back. Those um, reaction figures are yeah. everywhere now. Yeah, Toys R Us really just are. did a deal with Super 7 to get a whole bunch of uh, stock, and we're flooded with the Super 7 figures at Toys R Us really? now. Yeah, oh, wow. just flooded, like giant islands filled with them. <laughs> and they're all 23 bucks each. It's Yeah. I'd love to pick a few of them up, but, man, they're honestly twice as much as they should be. If they were twelve ninety nine, thirteen ninety nine, I think they'd be a lot more palatable. Oh my! My flag would be filled with the sailors yeah, if they were yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if they're five points of articulation <laughs> as a surfer. Yeah, I ended up picking up that Silver Surfer uh, last time I was oh, in cool. the states. I found it somewhere. I, you know, I'm a big Silver Surfer fan. So my uh, Silver Surfer is one of my favorite characters. Did you see the uh, life size Silver Surfer in the Heroes? video i did somewhat uh, some time i back. did yeah i remember yeah. that yep yeah Hanging that was very the cool ceiling. yeah that thing's quite a sight to see just hanging over top of you surfing oh cool Intense. batman a keaton batman movie carded figures yeah and batman the animated series and i, I was really drawn to those vintage uh uh dc figures like that totally. i mean really the price was not terrible Oh, the, no, um, not that, much uh, more than what they were. No, originally. Jam. 
Spawn. Just didn't pay any time on the Batman and Robin figures. <laughs> <laughs> one of one of well, I always say this one of three movies I've ever walked out of. <laughs> Do you remember what the other two are? Uh, yeah, it was The Shadow and it was uh, Congo. Oh, those are the other two that I walked out of. I'm sure I've walked out of some movies. I just can't really remember what the the animated Grinch. I walked out of that, but it wasn't really you know I hate this. I'm getting out of, ooh LJN. It was just more like, this isn't really for me. I think I'll just leave and let everyone enjoy <laughs> Enjoy this. Yeah. Go do something, Ric Flair. Shiki Baby. Mm-hmm. It's funny. His name is, with a lot of wrestling fans, basically morphed into Shiki Baby. <laughs> a lot of people don't really call him the Iron Sheik anymore. Christmas Story. You know, put your eye out. But it was just oh, one of those things where, wow, yeah, you, this is cool. I love yeah, you, Lucy. Yeah, you're just kind of surprised at every turn of the kind of stuff you're seeing. It's got something like for every of, generation. Yeah, lots of Lucy and Wizard of Oz stuff. And like, I'd never seen those Wizard of Oz, Oz figures. I, I had no idea what they were from, other than being Wizard of Oz, obviously. But I'd never, never seen the line or anything like that. I don't know that they've made them. Oh, man, that's really cool. Love going back in time that far. Mm-hmm. Some of this weird, strange, whatever they are, like, uh, what are it, Ghoulie High or whatever it's called? Yeah. Monster High, yeah. Flintstones movie yeah. figures. Yeah. Speaking of everything, having a twin line, Pee Wee Herman. That Pee Wee Herman was actually one of the other things. It was, it was I believe it said, I don't know if it was not for sale or whatever, but it was, it was one of those like, oh, I'd get this if I ever saw it for a reasonable price. Now, there was a Beetlejuice. Uh, it was a new Beetlejuice, but it's made to look like a retro cartoon. Mm-hmm. I think it's called like cartoon or animated something. I've got an Ash from Evil Dead from that line, and oh, it is nice. awesome. It's basically like a what if this came out in 88. Oh, that's cool. They look really cool. Kind of like how Origins, you know, are new, but they look like, hey, this could have come out in 80s, mm-hmm. 89. Yeah, like throwback and construction yeah. and design. Yeah. And, and authentic throwback. You know, sometimes they try and it's like, no, this is missing mm-hmm. an authenticity to it. And these were all, you can't barely tell here, these are all micro machines. Really? Uh, yeah, so he had he had a huge selection of these, uh, these micro machines. And this or was it a, and everything. Or was it a tiny selection of <laughs> micro machines? <laughs> Touche. <laughs> then these weird things, the, these, uh, these crash, crash systems, tests. I still think are one of the weirdest toys ever made. Yeah. Oh, mask. One, one, yeah, one random mask vehicle or a couple, I guess. Mm-hmm. And he had a bunch of stuff mixed in here. Terminator. He-Mans and Silverhawks, and X-Men and Silverhawks. Yeah. Copper Kid. Cool. The John, John Belushi samurai in there for some unknown reason. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Kermit. <laughs> Looks like ooze heroes on yeah. the and a TMNT and a Savage Dragon figure back in there. Um, Is there? I wonder if they're reissue or originals. I don't know. They looked when I was there like they were originals, but it was hard to tell. And the only reason I would have said that was because the the um, the clear plastic was was kind of yellowed a little bit. Yeah. So I was guessing that they're originals. Trolls. A few more of those. You might see a closer view here. I wonder if there's people buying the reissues and leaving them out in the sun for a month, hoping to yeah, yeah. yellow that and pass them <laughs> off. It's vintage. it's vintage. It's yellow. See? Um, this little section where they had some of the Mark's toys and stuff. I was paying Evil. particular attention at. Evil Knievel. Uh, Sectars. Yeah. Awesome. Sectars. That skulk is one of the creepiest, mm-hmm. creepiest figures I've ever seen of any toy line. Oh, all those eyes and his tarantula that he rides. <laughs> yeah. And then they had, they had the uh, Pee Wee Herman figure there. I was looking at that. I was looking at that one. That was another like, mm, you know. Hey, here you go. Here's your big uh, Motu Masters of the Universe. Section. Oh, Looks a little like origins. A couple, yeah, yeah, a couple of origins figures. I was looking at that. They really uh, blend in well. Yeah, yeah. Godzilla. It's really hard to tell. That Godzilla is one of my other holy grails. And I love how you shoot it <laughs> like the slow pan up. It's as yeah. big as Grayskull. Yeah, it's huge. That was another one of those. I was actually really thinking of that one, and I was—I just couldn't figure out how to get it home. It was like it would need its own suitcase. 
Yeah. But it Why wasn't actually, I mean, it was like, I think it was $850 or something like that. And it was like, uh... <laughs> you gotta love toy collectors, like biting the knuckle going, oh, it's almost a grand. Yeah. Meanwhile, like car guys are like, eh, $12,000 for the yeah. booster or whatever. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and this was, uh, a lot of this was cars and stuff. Um but there was also a huge collection of like vintage uh, Star Wars and, and even like you know newer line Star Wars stuff. Just just really cool. It's just something. This is the back room. Oh, this is where I started getting excited Whoa. because I saw the Star Trek figures and I started looking around um, for two in particular. Both of which I found. One of them was not quite the figure I wanted, but close. Uh, so I picked it up, carded. Mm. Um, but this was part, um, so he was telling me the story. He was like, oh, yes, um, uh, this is brand new. Somebody came in like, you know, a week ago and dumped all these um, Star Trek, these carded Star Wars, uh, Star Trek figures on me. And, and yeah, okay, yeah, I thought so. You know, take them. Um, so, I mean, just he's getting new stuff all the time, new old stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, like that, I was close on that one. I thought the Barkley figure was. Oh, funny. yes. Yeah. Mad Murdoch. Mm -hmm. Dwight Schultz. I didn't know they ever made a Barkley yeah. figure. Yeah. I think it was kind of like Star Wars Power of the Force 2 in the end, where they made just about everybody that had been on screen for about two seconds. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, all sorts of these, you know, these Power of the Force 2 figures, of course, were like. You know, you see these everywhere, but yeah. it was just kind of neat seeing them carded, you know. They made so many. I think they made one for everybody. They really did, yeah. <laughs> and you can get them for, again, not much more than what they cost back when they no. first came out in the 90s. Yeah. I had a whole bunch of them, like, carded, thinking, mm. yeah, these are going to be, you know, money. <laughs> and then and just ran out of space and sold mm. them all for almost what I paid for and don't really regret that because they're not really yeah. all that much either and gave them away too i got rid of pretty much all my i had a very large part of the force too it was all out of package but um i i got rid of them all this was one of the things that i i, I enjoyed finding knock these off. were yeah these are the knockoff uh star wars figures um and uh yeah i was pretty excited to find find one of those because i always kind of thought adam west uh, yeah there's an adam west batman that was good that was actually another thing i was really tempted by uh, that, well, that mobile. don't you know, Eric, that West is best. 100% pure West. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Yoda. Uh, yeah, so they have the Grogu stuff, and then they had all these uh Oh, these those are great. Scales. The yeah, Sideshow. Was... Sideshow Star Wars stuff was great. Six scale. Yeah. Got so many of those. I love it. It is in your destiny not to open these boxes. <laughs> But the the owner is, is was is he's a really nice guy that we talked a little bit you know when I was there here, and I told them that we were going to do this uh, this walkthrough and he was, he seemed really cool with it and everything. Um, but uh, I also uh, I talked to him a lot more the last time I was there a couple of years ago and he was telling me a little bit more of the story of the shop and everything. Um, but um, it really really cool guy really interesting and obviously really passionate about toys and toy collecting and uh, you know. Uh, I mean, you can see, you can, you can yeah, see, clearly, the, you can yeah. see the passion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you feel the passion? Yes, I yeah. think I do. Um, you could kind of tell the stuff that he actually liked, you know, I think he was really big into like the wrestling and the NASCAR and the star Wars. Mm. Um, those, uh, those unleashed star Wars figures were beautiful. Not really, they really figures. Were. They're just statues, mm. but, uh, beautiful yeah, sculpts on yeah, they were, they were cool. Oh, uh, here's some of the destiny. stuff I'd never really seen. Yeah, these Princess Leia dolls. Uh, this is great. This is one of those things where I think it's great that... Uh, and this is one of the things that I... And I would say as much as Rey is an unpopular character, the reason I think Rey works is because when you go to like Galaxy's Edge and you see little six-year-old, seven-year-old girls yeah. running around dressed up as Rey, that's why Rey's in the movies. You yeah. know? And I think it's so cool that there are Star Wars figures aimed at squarely at girls you know um you just didn't see that when we were kids not to that degree i guess sometimes you got to fight for what you like oh there's a random star trek phaser yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, right you got to fight for what you like and um that that's just hey man if you like something it's worth fighting for and i've been fighting for hot rod since the movie came out you know mm -hmm. hot rod got optimus prime killed and i always say no megatron got optimus prime yeah killed. yeah 
no, no, I ride. So uh, we saw it with Jar Jar. You know, it was it's it's still fun <laughs> to poke yeah. fun at Jar Jar and stuff. But <laughs> but you, you have grown adults saying, "Hey, I like Jar Jar," you know, and or someone says, "My my kids love Jar Jar," and I call it an empathy adjustment. You know, it's like an immediate okay, I'll I'll lay off because mm -hmm. you you love it, and it'd be a real d bag if I just kept <laughs> ripping ripping on it when you genuinely like it. It's like, mm -hmm. dude, that's cool. That's cool. No, no more yeah. joking about the thing that you love. And I think, yeah, in a few years, we'll see all of the people who are very passionate about Ray. And uh, mm -hmm. same deal, you know, like, oh, okay, if, if you love it, then that's that's cool. I'll just be in my corner uh, watching the original trilogy for the 7,000th <laughs> time. And the Mandalorian. Yeah. Season one and two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, these are cool. These, uh, these, uh, uh, oh, I got that a, a shot of that because that's actually one of my favorite cars. Uh, the Cuda, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you, you could clearly see that this, that he was obviously really big on his cars. I'm sure that's the given, given that he, he had owned car dealerships. Um, but, Any Volvos? Um, I don't remember I'm seeing not. any. Did they ever make it? Oh, here was the really cool stuff. So look Whoa. at all those boxed Star Wars toys, original retro Star Wars toys, Millennium Falcons, Whoa. you know, um, the t Turbo Turrets, the, you know, he's got a mix in, he's got some newer stuff in with it, but like the oh. speeder bike and, you know, yeah. and I don't know if I've ever seen a boxed one of those shy of on the pegs when I was a kid, you know. It's like being in a museum, but things exactly. are actually for sale. Yeah, yeah, I was just stunned, you know, and then they've got the Razor Ooh. Crest and I don't remember how much i saw that on sale for i'm sure it wasn't cheap but uh big boy. Yeah. like y wings in the box that was that was my Whoa. favorite star wars ship when i was a kid that was one of the, the, the best one i had that's so cool you can put a droid in that one too yeah exactly that's why i liked it so much uh you Shabba. know all the jabba's the ad at you know mixed in there's some vintage stuff you know right up there actually the, that, that's collection stuff sorry eric that's not how you pronounce it it's <laughs> at dash at uh, okay. <laughs> no one's ever heard that one. <laughs> nah. uh, but oh, even that, like that, is that electronic X-wing? That thing's great. Yeah, like even that stuff was, you know, even for the day, it was pretty cool. I mean, that came out what twenty years ago now, I think it was, um, and it was still pretty cool. They were sort of reissuing some of those old toys, and you know, he he was not sh not low on his uh, what I would call his, his stock of things here. I mean. Oh. You know, if you were looking for something older for Power of the Force 2 line sort of stuff, I mean, he had yeah. just about everything. This is the place um, to go. Yeah. yeah. Then there was the, like, the Fawn, but that thing was really hard to find even when it came out. I think it was a Target exclusive, if I'm not, not mistaken. I don't remember ever seeing it. Yeah. Um, cool. Escape the Death Star Trash game. My God. Oh, that's cool. That 12 inch two pack of uh, Anakin yeah. and Maul before they retconned uh, Sebastian Shaw out of. <laughs> yeah. You know, plenty of the 12 inch figures. I knew a lot of guys that connect, collected those. I never. I, never I had quite a few of them. I like, you know, I, I mm. liked them because they were there and, yeah, and yeah. you couldn't get the originals. And I ended up giving them away. But for the time I had them, I really liked them. Yeah. Tons of episode one stuff, of course. I just saw Keegan Jin. That's, that's how I always pronounced it before the movie actually came out. Keegan Jin. What? It's Qui Gon. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> you know, and plenty of stuff from the new movies and the sequels and all that sort of stuff. But still, it's you know, and uh, you know, it's if it was stuff that you missed or never found, and you know, you, you end up you like it like this. That Millennium Falcon I actually thought was pretty cool. And I'd never even seen that in a store. It was sort of like a not quite, like it was almost like a mask scale. Like yeah. it was smaller figure kind of stuff. No, um, yeah, bigger really than Micro Machines, smaller than Hasbro. Yeah. Going through all these, it really, um, it, it's really obvious to me actually that mm -hmm. um, the old packaging was much more fun and the mm -hmm. new packaging is just too serious. Like there's flames yeah. and it, Everything, even the photography, if they're taking pictures of toys and sticking it on there, is just so, I don't know, like a darkness that Star Wars didn't have. Yeah. It was always rooted in fun, and now it's like all 
high mm-hmm. stakes. Like it's not GI Joe. You can get away with how that's that's how GI Joe started mm-hmm. the Hector Greedo artwork, right? It's all about super intense imagery. But when I think yeah. of Star Wars toys, I think those really fun Kenner pictures they'd put on their boxes. Mm-hmm. Well, it was a uh, more heroic and you know, or you know, just just felt a little more and white background. Yeah, kind of yeah, thing, or yeah. yellow background. Potato Head. Plenty of toy stuff. Racing Champions. <laughs> These look like 118 scale drivers. Hmm. NASA. NASA. I love these sets. I think I had a bunch of those back when they came out. I think those were like late, mid or late 90s, I think. I had a, I had a, a bunch of those and I actually gave them to my friend because they were all on my desk at work. And I gave them to uh, one of the guys at work that was a really big NASA guy. Man. Mm-hmm. This has been awesome. Save me a trip to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. You might need to might need to go to to uh, get a gyro and and look at a toy shop. I think I've I've always meant to. You know, if I could go, can't really right now. I got puppies mm-hmm. to take care of and family. Yeah. But uh, you know, Florida would be the place to go because there's just. Mm-hmm. I mean, already I knew about Universal Studios and mm-hmm. and Disney World, but this is really impressive too and your hall so this was the hall yeah so i i got a few um retro star wars the classic star wars figures because i've been kind of collecting those little by little trying to kind of kind of i don't know fill up the ranks i bought those chris star comics mm-hmm. i've since gone on ebay and found number one and number five which weren't in stack of course i bought bought the blade runner comics um yeah. i picked up that that um that that knockoff stormtrooper because it's great it's like six inches but it's like the old power of the force two style um and then of course the <laughs> there's the uh i got the um cisco and the uh, i did find the o'brien it's the dress uniform o'brien so so i came i came back with those cisco's my favorite captain of all the star trek so so I had to get that one, but uh, and that was the haul. <laughs> nice, pretty small haul considering how gigantic this store is. Yeah. But that's how it goes sometimes. It's that's it's fun to just kind of nibble away and pick and choose little tiny things. Well, you know the thing too, and I, I, I'm sure if I wasn't, uh, you know, on a plane back to the back to the UK and then the Isle of Man, right? That's I probably would have come home with a little bit more uh but i was also co- very cognizant of space and we had bought a lot of, a lot of other stuff too yeah. so uh it didn't quite get everything w- what i might have walked out with had i not had limitations uh which was good because it did kind of temper the uh the, the uh um i don't know the temptation if you will to to buy even more stuff <laughs> but i uh, found some good stuff all the same so i was really happy about it yeah, that's the important thing. I mean, you strike while the iron's hot. If you're at a great show or at a great store there and there's a bunch of stuff you've actually been looking for for a long time, then and you can financially justify it, then mm-hmm. go for it. But, uh, you know, you, you can't fill up a shopping cart <laughs> and just go, ooh, this looks interesting. Because yeah. a lot of time you're going to have regret afterward. Like, why did I buy this? Because it was there. Mm-hmm. So it's, I, I always have so much more fun when I'm actually... Even stuff I don't know exists, like a deck of ALF trivia cards, Melbourne yeah, trivia cards, like exactly, mm-hmm. for, you know, for the right price. And you know, like for me, a lot of the stuff has attachment. And always since I saw it in a on a in a Steve, what is it? What's his name? Sand Steve Sansweet. Yeah. I saw that Galaxy Empire uh, like pirate figure, bootleg figure in one of those the longest time ago and i was like oh if i ever see one of those i need to get it and i found one you know and it's like here it is and uh, you know the cisco of course is my favorite captain and just the uh the the sheer uh i don't know irony of having the uh, o'brien figure uh i thought was great and, so, and, and it was cheap it was like i think it was like 10 bucks maybe 15 bucks for carded figure i mean you know how do you how do you, how do you pass that up yeah i don't have too many star wars figures in the collection mm-hmm. either but i like I, I grabbed the uh, the boxed bridge set by Playmates of the TOS crew. Uh, that's a great looking set because I just love TOS. I, I love the whole crew yeah. and those those look even though they're I think '90s figures, they just feel '60s to me. Mm-hmm. But uh, cool. I got a random uh, Playmate Scotty as well from Relics, the TNG episode Relics. Yeah, I just I, I I had to grab that Scotty. Same reason as you got O'Brien. I'm like it's Scotty, man. It's it's the guy who's given it all she's got. And also a little personal collection uh, connection is uh, 
Scotty used to live in uh, the same town my wife is from. Oh, so, really? Uh, I, yeah, it's like, oh, that's cool. Miss Scotty used to walk these grounds right here, you know, before he was uh, a war hero and, and before he was uh, saving the Enterprise. Mm. People in that town have no idea. I've, I've yet to actually run into a single person who knows who Jimmy Doohan was. Really? <laughs> in oh, that God, town. I, would, I would think somebody like that, there'd be like a monument to him. I mean, you know, he's like a legend, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. But man, That's thank you amazing. so much. This uh, this has been incredible. I, I'm exhausted. It feels like right? <laughs> I, yeah. I can't imagine what your knees and back felt like. Cause when I did that three story place, I think I was I was in there for quite a while, and my back said, "You're done." And I'm like, "Oh come on!" There's so much more in the third floor. You're done. <laughs> Wrap yeah. it up. Well, that's the thing. I remember you, you in one of the videos you're talking about it kind of almost being overwhelming, like you were overstimulated. Oh yeah. And I that was exactly how it was. It was like first like hour, I think it was it was it was fine, and then like second hour, I was starting to get a little sweaty and hot and <laughs> and you know because it's Florida, and even if you're inside, you start you know there's there's, there's it's still kind of hot, and um and it was just like like my eyes were just kind of bugging out after a while. It's like oh my god, it was like just sheer force of will. I think I I finished filming everything after about three and a half hours um but yeah it was i mean still it's so fascinating going through everything and when you really take the time to look too the stuff you find and see is just like <gasps> you know it's like stuff you would have you admit and still i didn't even notice that mac tonight figurine back in the background i probably would have bought that so so uh you know even i was missing stuff still <gasps> that's just great about these videos like ooh, mm -hmm. I, I miss that and yeah go back and and grab it too you know after being there for a while it kind of reminds me of my long trips to Toys R Us and just kind of settling in and mm -hmm. yeah, it's you, the um, initial mind blowing wears off, but then you're just kind of comfy. It's like mm -hmm. you're, you're home and uh, you can just wander for, for hours if you can physically take it. You know, yeah, hopefully there's yeah. like benches or chairs that you can sit down there for a couple minutes mm -hmm. and just recover. But that's also a nice, nice thing about these places to just, you know, mingle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And it's neat, too. And, it's, you know, in the case of, like, the owner, you could tell he didn't care. He was like, oh, yeah, great. Yeah. Come along and look around. And, you know, it's one thing if he was, you know, if he would had been tapping his foot and, like, watching yeah. me the entire time, I probably wouldn't have felt felt very welcome. But he wasn't. It was like he was totally chatty. And, and you know, we were talking old toy stuff. And there was stuff that I had seen. Obviously, knew his stuff. I was like, oh, wow. I said, that's a, you know, I'd see there was some transformer or something and be like, wow, that's actually, that's really hard to find. That's a great price for that. And he'd be like, yeah, yeah, totally. Somebody brought in, tell me the story, how he got it or something. And, uh, so he was like, you know, the guy was super friendly and, and really passionate about it. You could see where, uh, um, you know, where the impetus of the store came from, obviously he, he had something he wanted to share, which was really cool. Yeah. If, uh, I can imagine he, he might not get too many hardcore toy fans, just people kind of like, mm -hmm passing interest in this stuff but uh mm -hmm. there's a couple of hardcore toy fans watching this channel so if you're anywhere near Tar harpen springs or if you're not if you're just yeah. heading down there for what people head down there for you know disney world universal uh check this place out add it to the list of things to see because this this is incredible yeah 100 percent. and i can't recommend enough to go to uh go to the docks go to the the, the seaside get yourself a nice euro or some baklava and, uh, <laughs> and take yourself to the toy shop it's a nice afternoon is uh is a euro anything like a gyro those delicious greek uh <laughs> i know, I know <laughs> louis exactly what it is louis <laughs> is at home rolling his eyes right now <laughs> mm, delicious gyro go get yourself your gyros <laughs> hey while you were looking through there did you see a hero viper you know the yeah. pilot of the mamba the hero viper <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well uh thanks again this has been so fun man and, and we've got yeah. a couple more to go through which uh we'll uh we'll do again some other day but uh this has been a blast and hope everyone out there has enjoyed it. Oh, my pleasure. Glad you enjoyed it. Thanks Thank so you again much. for having me and, uh, and, and, and putting this on and uh, making a party channel. I really appreciate it. And anytime, my pleasure. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Nerd mistake. Nerd mistake.